Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Welcome to the official presentation of the Toyota Cup in 2011. What an incredible game. Golden point, extra time. And the Warriors defending their premiership. 31 points to 30 over the North Queensland Cowboys. Congratulations to both teams this afternoon. Junior Rugby League is in fantastic hands with a game like that. Let's go to our official party on stage. We have David Gallup, the Chief Executive Officer of the National Rugby League. Tony Pepper, the Toyota Regional Manager of the Eastern Region. And we're privileged to have Mrs Judy Gibson on stage this afternoon to hand over the Jack Gibson Medal. The winner of the Jack Gibson Medal this afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, from the Warriors. He kicked the winning field goal. Their halfback, Jordan Meads. It's just an honour here today. Um, uh, to the Cowboys, what a great game. You're an amazing team and words can't describe how you guys are. But to the fans that came, you're amazing. Thank you very much, everyone from New Zealand. Um, to our boys, I guess that's what we did all the hard work for. We're all brothers out there today and it showed. And yeah, he's all my brothers and I love you to bits. Thank you very much. Jordan Meads winning the Jack Gibson medal this afternoon. What a crucial play with that field goal in Golden Point extra time. A lot of people have said this Warriors side is the greatest junior team ever assembled. Would you please welcome Ben Henry. Here it is, the Toyota Cup about to hoist this high at ANZ Stadium this afternoon. The captain of the Warriors, Ben Henry. Um, oh, shucks. Uh, first of all, just want to thank God for this day and, you know, thanks for all the support that's come out, all the Warriors fans, especially back home um, at Mount Smart and Ericsson. You know, it's been tremendous. I also thank um, Vodafone and sponsors for supporting our team. And, um, you know, just the season's been un unbelievable. Um, the boys, they really deserve it. Um, thanks to the Cowboys for really putting up, you know, a, a big effort. But I think uh, another round of applause for the 17 boys that played um, from Junior Warriors. Thank you. And in this game, well, North Queensland had an opportunity with a conversion to win the game. That was unsuccessful, forcing the game into Golden Point. And Jordan Meads, big couple of minutes for him, kicked the winning field goal and also then took out the Jack Gibson medal for man of the match. Now, last year it was Carlos Tumavave, his halves partner today. And don't forget, out of this game last year, Elijah Taylor and Sean Johnson have both graduated and they'll be in action in our third grand final and be key players for the Warriors in their battle against the Seagulls. Tremendous performance from both these ties, North Queensland got away to a fly, scored the first 10 points, then scored late points to get back into the contest. But absolute heartbreak for them with the conversion going wide of the posts. And the Warriors have now won the last two Toyota Cups. And that follows on victories from Canberra and Melbourne in this competition, which has been a marvellous breeding ground for young players. So many moving through into the NRL and finding their feet very, very quickly. 31-30, the they have snuck home earlier today, 30 points to 28. It was the Bulldogs over the Warriors. And Ben Henry, a very happy skipper, as was pointed out. He missed last year's game with injury. And John Ackland, well known around New Zealand Rugby League, the coach of this outstanding football team. We mentioned before the game, more tries and more points than any other Toyota Cup team in its four-year history. So as the young guns celebrate their victory, we are ready to catch up with a player coming to the end of his career, Darren Lockyer, after the break, on a grand day when the rugby league world traditionally goes into a spin.